anyone. Mm -hmm. Poor Lucene! I'm back, baby! Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet. We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says the internet. And hold it up until you're done asking. That <laughs> makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> what happened to the internet? <laughs> I don't know if that's the thing. <laughs> Are you a doll vampire still here? I think this one. This is one thing the internet can't compete with. I guess I used to go in here when I was a kid. I guess. Oh my god. The US is still here? <laughs> this old thing. I can feel the edgeness from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There's no way I'm going in there. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think, girl? For God's sake. Give me a sec. Uh, I'm gonna check something real quick. Okay, I got some time. Okay! For God's sake. I'm 14 again. <laughs> yeah, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Oh, okay, we won. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady! Just so you know, we have 20% off selection. Oh, gee shit! Yep. Thanks a lot! Catch you later. Alright. <laughs> nice. Dead Buddy Boy stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Oh, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. Oh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad, I'm getting there. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen Bell Buckle for a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with the rattlesnake driving a semi truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do it. Cover me, I'm gonna grab one. What? No! Shh! We're not doing this. So you're really gonna do this? Shh! Huh? 
Ah, everything's good. Oh my god, it's gonna be forever, okay. That was the most difficult thing I had ever done in my life. Oh my god. Oh yeah, sweet belt buckle. I am never ever going to wear. Then why did you steal? Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, mate. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Has everyone? Get back in there, champ! What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on. In there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there is not one mall cop here, as far as I can tell. I mean... Hey, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you. Driving away if I get caught. Perfect! <coughs> <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you're doing it. I'm gonna distract the clerk and I can do this. Okay, I've got a drawing attention to this. I'm great at crimes. What if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm leaving you. Join the club. Hey. Uh huh. I got a question. T-shirts are twenty percent off. Yeah, I saw. I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. No, no one ever asked this, but I think about it all the time. I bet! God. You know what the official business name on your check is? Mutilation Medical Youth Culture Uprising. That's really dumb. Pretty cool place to work at. Not really, anyway. You want something? Ah, okay. You're right. Yeah, it's a cool place and you should be happy you even have a job. What? I have no idea. We know if you need anything. So Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, oh, I wanna see what happens to this. I wonder if it resets, I doubt it, but... You know what, go F yourself. Alright, where did that come from? My F a brain, that's where? Why are you so calm? I just told you to F you. <laughs> are you... Do you have issues? No. Are you F and do? Okay, look, I mean, I've had some problems too. But, I found a lot of peace in God. Oh, good, good. That's what I need. Do you need something? I don't know. My life made sense until recently. Now it's all effed up. Can I pray for you? Okay, was nice talking to you. Bye now. Why did I do that? It's so well me. I call the cops and the shoplifters at my own store. 
this? What did you get? Any other shop? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice! God. I get it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. Kinda sick. Let's walk it off. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant mission. Oh my god, I loved her. You ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, it, like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed there was some guy in there with a squirt gun. Oh, so they have to play a trick down with squirt people. That's amazing. <laughs> you know that long way we up there. That's the other food board thing. The atrium. The what? The ceiling, the glass part of the top. I don't know what the atrium is. Uh -huh. Anyway, when I was a kid, I thought that that's where God lived. Wow! No, I just remember staring at it when I was a kid, like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God, like peeking over or something. Looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Wanna go up and see? Uh, my knees are killing me from work. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of the mall first. Yeah! Yeah, let's eat! Okay. I expect more excitement. What food would do better? What a food. See, that wasn't hard to get. You had held it before I got. Attack. First, good garbage man. Yeah, I wish we'd get one in town. That'd be bad for me. Be worth it. You okay? What? Remember when Kathy I and mean, Miko pulled out Cindy Park's drink here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with, uh, what's his name, football guy? Ron Strong. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, it was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdown for my beautiful first ball and his mommy, Kathy Domingo. That's something. That is something. Kathy wasn't watching bad. She was crying, I think. Then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, wow! That's Dick Blue! Yeah, see, that's the part I don't know. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. I wonder what Ron's gonna do. I'm gonna say Kathy, because shit, Kathy went through some shit. Last year, Ron had this ATV accident. Somehow Kathy and him got talking after that. And they got married? Huh? Yeah, Ron's parents set them up about a double fight out Brittle. Because Kathy refused to end up in Possum Spring. Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of this story is? The second high school drama? Cindy having something ripped out of her dumb face? At the time I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. Hmm, I guess. I don't know if I... Hmm, I guess. It used to make things... It used to make things make sense, at least. Thinking about this place, the fountain, the God walkway, and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now, not knowing means it might be going wrong, I may not be able to fix it. I hope knowing someone will have the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. Oh, well, I was at school. Yeah? I don't even... I don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? I want to run around the mall somewhere. There's not really much else to run around. You can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. 
wanna run! You run, I'm gonna sit here. Tired and sad. To yourself. Get out of here <laughs> before you're arrested. Look how shall we confuse the stuff and beat each other up? Oh, I have God and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get out of here. Have a good one, mortal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love this game. Because it's not sticking. Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here, but she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in the much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Return this shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hi! Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. <laughs> Here's that shit! We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault. The world's like it is. Like, you stole this? You're just a cog in a much bigger machine! 
blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a whole thing. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? <laughs> this is totally me! <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is funny, man. Oh my god, I don't want to end it. What time? Oh yeah, I'm over. This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, it's just a big, mostly empty thing. In a big, mostly empty parking lot. You work with what you have. Just never come here again. Didn't have to convince me. We came here because you wanted to. Oh, Fort Lucene used to be something. Now Fort Lucene's over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. Damn it. I had a chance. I am really enjoying this game. Oh, hi dad, you're still awake? Okay, cool. Uh, hi, what was Oh shit. Bandit Queens. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Okay. Uh, now. Oh yeah. What's up dad? You had a wild time last night. Eh, I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow. Hold on. Let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do today? Went out with B. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of... I don't know. Like, she's older. Like, much older. Kinda sad. Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? What have you done for me lately? Been an excellent daughter. Been a credit to this family. <laughs> been a credit to this family. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Have a little bit. Ah, oh, hey, fuck it, yeah, for a little bit, I don't mind. Hop up, I'm watching Garbo and Molly. Nice. I don't mind. Garbo and Molly! All the way. Welcome back! Welcome back, folks! Oh, yeah! Hell of a show tonight! Say, Molly! Yes, Grabba! Ever get the feeling that disaster is right around the corner? Sure do, right before we start the show every night. You're superstitious, Garbo. Not anymore. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned. And now I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. Yeah. Well, what about the rest of us? What? That's a whoopa. Coming up next, Garbo and I join a call. <laughs> That's how funny that shit was, I'm coughing. That's how funny that shit was. I'm fucking coughing. Oh my god, that was funny. Now can you move things, boss? No? Okay, thanks, though. Hey, no. Okay, well, see you, Dad. Have a good night. Oh, got a job. There we go. Nope, oh, still can't. Okay. Just wanna make sure. What's up? God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. 
Since everything has a clock on it, right on it. Like everything's something big that only does one thing. Like a statement or something. Hmm. Great look at it. And this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Um, damn. Like, this is the first session. The first session is probably gonna be three episodes and Gonna be honest, it's probably gonna be long as shit, but I am enjoying this series. It is very fun to do, uh, all that. Who knows, I might just make them shorter or anything. Um, so, yeah, um, damn, I'm so happy that I got this. I, like, I was questioning to get this game, because I thought it was gonna suck, but nah, this, this game is, this game is good, like, really good. So, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with other guys' friends you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Night in the Woods. Bye, guys.